much, Deputy Speaker. And much has been said about the Albanese government's federal budget and the fact that it has totally ignored Middle Australia. Middle Australia are faced with higher prices, higher taxes and higher mortgages. But what has been less said, but is every bit as important, is this budget also ignores regional Australia. Regional Australia. We know that the Albanese government has a razor gang. It is putting on the chopping block for review $120 billion worth of infrastructure projects. Now, this is going to impact regional Australia more than anywhere. Let's take the Sunshine Coast. One of those projects is a $1.6 billion rail project, a project that the community has united around regardless of their political strife, especially given the boom in population. For us to have a new rail line that is going all the way through to the Maroochydore CBD is precisely what our community has called for. We, in government, allocated $1.6 billion for 50 per cent of that $3.2 billion project. The state Labor government has stalled it, and now this Albanese government is putting a big fat question mark over that. Secondly, we have the Mooloola River interchange, $160 million from the coalition government on a fully state responsible road. That too has a question mark on it. For that project, people have already been evicted from their houses, up to 400 residents. This is amidst a housing crisis and a population boom. This government is holding back now on whether that project even proceeds. But what we found out, Deputy Speaker, through Senate estimates, it's not just the projects that might be on the chopping block, but in fact the programs. And those programs include the Black Spot program and Roads to Recovery, programs that we rely on locally, especially in regional areas. Our local councils rely on. Literally tens of millions of dollars went from the coalition government for these local roads. And we've had them through nearly every um, area of the sunny coast, but I want to call out one in particular. This one was $3.2 million that we were able to secure for Grayeski Road. Now, that's in Yandina Creek. And a local res resident there, Angelo Rotano, he had campaigned for 30 years he'd campaigned for that road. Can you imagine that? 30 years. We were able to have that fully sealed. This is what infrastructure is about. This is what looking after regions about. It's what should be looking after middle Australia is about. But the Albanese government are rejecting right, and ignoring.